In the hushed glow of flickering television screens, where sepia-tinted memories intertwine with the ethereal, a tale of spectral whispers and unexpected connections unfolded. Cast your mind back to that moment, a moment when the world seemed to slow, and the realm of the ordinary danced with the extraordinary. It was an encounter with the ghost and Mrs. Muir, a bewitching symphony of 1968 that transported you to the misty shores of Schooner Bay, where a widow's indomitable spirit clashed, then harmonized with the enigmatic ghostly presence of a former sea captain. Perhaps you remember the first time you glimpsed the faded elegance of Gull Cottage, perched like a time-worn sentinel against the restless sea. The symphony of creaking floorboards and whispering winds seemed to beckon you closer, inviting you to step into the embrace of its timeless narrative. Within those walls, the vibrant Lucy Muir embarked on a journey that defied the boundaries of life and death. Through laughter, tears, and a camaraderie that transcended the tangible, her bond with Captain Daniel Gregg unfolded like pages of an ageless diary. And what of the moments that lingered, shimmering like fragments of an old photograph? Was it the wistful lullaby of the theme music that resonated with your heart? Or the bittersweet exchanges that danced between Lucy and the captain, teasing at a love that was as intangible as the sea breeze? In the twilight of reminiscence, these memories remain, cherished like treasures from another era. But now, as the sands of time continue their unceasing march, let us illuminate the shadows with a glimpse of behind-the-scenes tales and curious tidbits. Did you know that the series was an adaptation of a 1945 film of the same name, bringing its charming mystique to the realm of weekly television dramas? Or that the chemistry between Hope Lange's Lucy and Edward Mulhair's Captain was a serendipitous blend of acting prowess and unscripted camaraderie? As we pull back the curtain on the secrets that lie beyond the frames, let your thoughts dance along the shorelines of nostalgia. The timeless charm of the ghost in Mrs. Muir continues to ripple through the tapestry of entertainment, a reminder that even in the most unconventional of connections, there lies a beauty that defies the passage of time. Hope Lange's remarkable double triumph. The ghost in Mrs. Muir's leading lady grabs two consecutive Emmy Awards. In the annals of television history, few actresses have achieved what Hope Lange managed during the short-lived but beloved 1968 TV series, The Ghost in Mrs. Muir. A show that blended comedy, romance, and the supernatural, it told the story of the widowed Lucy Muir and her spectral housemate, Captain Daniel Gregg. While the series may have sailed off after just two seasons, Lange's performance has etched an indelible mark on the small screen. Lange's portrayal of the spirited widow, Lucy Muir, was a triumph in itself. But what set her apart was her astounding back-to-back -back wins at the Emmy Awards. In a turn of events that could only be described as serendipitous, Lange secured the Emmy for Best Actress not once, but twice, coinciding with each year the show graced the airwaves. It was a double whammy of recognition that showcased her undeniable talent and her ability to breathe life into a character caught in the ethereal embrace of Captain Gregg. While the series' longevity might not have matched its star's Emmy victories, it did leave an enduring legacy. The tale of the charmingly unconventional duo captured the hearts of viewers and even left its mark across oceans. In India, Balaji Telefilms embarked on a curious endeavor in 2000 creating a remake for DD Metro entitled Captain House. However, reports indicate that this adaptation might have sailed without proper authorization, raising questions about the limits of creative inspiration and legal boundaries. As we reminisce about the bygone era of the ghost in Mrs. Muir, we can't overlook another integral member of the cast, the family dog, Scruffy. A faithful companion to Lucy and a steadfast friend to Captain Greg, Scruffy added his own touch of warmth and whimsy to the series, creating a trifecta of camaraderie that resonated with audiences. Although the show's ghostly tales might have faded into the mists of time, Hope Lange's dual Emmy victories remain a testament to her remarkable acting prowess. With each accolade, she solidified her place not only in television history, but in the hearts of those who were captivated by the beguiling tale of a widow and her spectral companion. So, as we reflect on the enigmatic allure of the ghost in Mrs. Muir, let's not forget the luminous talent that graced our screens and the endearing stories that continue to linger in our collective memory. The Ghost in Mrs. Muir, a haunting tale of television triumph 
and tribulations in the enchanting world of television's past. Where specters and spirits danced across screens, the ghost and Mrs. Muir emerged in 1968, promising a blend of romance and the supernatural. The show introduced viewers to the unlikely bond between a widow, Mrs. Muir, and the ghostly Captain Greg, inhabiting her seaside cottage. Yet, behind its ethereal charm lay a story of struggle, cancellation, and perseverance. One curious fact about the series revolves around the enigmatic portrait of Captain Greg. History aficionados might raise an eyebrow to learn that the very same portrait used in the 1947 movie Incarnation was repurposed for the television show. However, an artistic twist emerged as Edward Mulhair's features replaced Rex Harrison's, breathing new life into the spectral captain's visage. Premiering on NBC with great anticipation, the series occupied the coveted 8.30 p.m. EST Saturday night slot. Yet, its path was fraught with challenges. NBC pulled the curtain on the show after its inaugural season, only for a BC to swoop in and rescue it for a second and final outing. The perplexing question lingers, why did this captivating series, now a syndication staple, falter so dramatically in the ratings? To unravel this puzzle, one must delve into the labyrinthine history of scheduling missteps. During its initial year, the ghost in Mrs. Muir was pitted against the comedic espionage of Get Smart, the familial charm of my three sons, and the tuneful Lawrence Welk show. Unfortunately, the spectral allure failed to outshine its competitors. NBC's decision to cancel the show after the first season seemed inevitable. Surprisingly, a flicker of hope emerged when Hope Lange, the leading lady herself, clinched an Emmy. ABC seized the opportunity, thrusting the series onto Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Paired with that girl and bewitched, it seemed poised for success, but Family Affair on CBS cast a lawn shadow. Shifting to Friday nights in 1970 brought no solace, as the ratings continued to elude the show. As the final credits rolled, the ghost in Mrs. Muir faced its curtain call. ABC, despite its valiant efforts, canceled the series after its second season. The conundrum remains, a timeless tale that resonates with modern audiences, yet eluded victory in its original run. Perhaps it's the ephemeral nature of television success, a dance between time slots and trends that consigned the spectral romance to the annals of the underrated. So, as fans continue to revisit the enchanting tale of Mrs. Muir and Captain Greg, the mystery endures. A captivating journey that began with promise, faced trials, and ultimately found its place in the echoes of syndication. When ABC resurrected the 1968 TV series The Ghost and Mrs. Muir for a second season, Hope Lange underwent a transformative shift in her physical appearance. The show's revival ushered in a distinctive 1970s aesthetic, which was boldly reflected in Lange's hair and wardrobe choices. Her once demure look gave way to a more vibrant and contemporary style, mirroring the era's evolving fashion trends. This transformation not only marked a departure from the show's earlier romantic ambience, but also showcased Lange's adaptability as an actress embracing the changing times. However, this was not the first time the series saw a casting transition. Before Edward Mulhair took on the role of Captain Gregg in the TV adaptation, Rex Harrison had portrayed the character in the film version. Intriguingly, Mulhair had replaced Harrison in the Broadway cast of My Fair Lady, hinting at a serendipitous connection between the two actors. Such interwoven paths highlight the intricate relationships and shared experiences within the entertainment industry. As the series found new life on ABC, a shift in tone reshaped the dynamic between the titular characters. The romantic and yearning atmosphere that once enveloped the show was replaced with a comedic adversarial banter. This pivot often culminated in playful battles of wits, fueling a battle of the sexes competition between them. This creative reimagining injected a fresh energy into the series, demonstrating its resilience and ability to adapt while maintaining its core allure. The ghost and Mrs. Muir, with its evolving aesthetics, intricate casting connections, and dynamic narrative adjustments, continues to stand as a testament to the ever-changing landscape of television 
and the creative minds behind it. Gull Cottage, the enigmatic abode of the ghost, and Mrs. Muir nestled along the craggy cliffs of Schooner Bay. The charming Gull Cottage served as the atmospheric backdrop for the beloved 1968 TV series, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. This captivating abode, the heart of the show's narrative, ensnared viewers with its enigmatic allure. Only two seasons long, the series defied convention by venturing into syndication with a mere handful of episodes, a rare feat for sitcoms of its time. Yet, the brevity of its original run belied the lasting impact it had on television history. One intriguing twist emerged in the show's second season, the sudden shift in young Candy's perception of the titular ghost. Once a skeptic who mocked her brother's spectral friend, she was inexplicably granted the power to see the ghost herself. This narrative turn, unexplained and unanticipated, added a layer of mystery to the unfolding tale. Despite the lack of clarification, this narrative choice kept viewers engaged, speculating on the unseen forces at play within Gull Cottage. The series' ability to captivate with minimal explanations is a testament to its storytelling prowess. In the end, The Ghost in Mrs. Muir stands as a testament to the power of brevity, intrigue, and the allure of a house shrouded in secrets. Gull Cottage, a character in its own right, continues to cast its spell on those who venture into its world, inviting them to embrace the unknown. As we bid adieu to the mysterious shores of the ghost and Mrs. Muir, it's like parting ways with an old friend who shared secrets and whispered tales of the ethereal. This timeless TV series has woven its spectral threads into the tapestry of our memories, leaving us with a spectral nostalgia that lingers like an enigmatic mist. As the flickering images of the sea, the charming Captain Greg, and the resilient Mrs. Muir dance across the canvas of our imagination, we're invited to sail back in time, into a world where the boundary between the living and the beyond became as translucent as the waves that kissed the shore. The story beckons us to explore our own connections with the unseen, to ponder the depths of love that transcend even the veil of mortality. What were your moments of shared laughter, quiet contemplation, and the subtle shivers that ran down your spine? Was it the bittersweet romance, the tender camaraderie, or the ageless themes of life, death, and love that held you captive? A journey into the unknown isn't just a story, it's a reflection of the mysteries that ripple through our own lives. So, let's gather round the flickering glow of our memories and share the chapters that have stayed with us, like timeless footprints on the sands of our own existence. Your thoughts, musings, and cherished scenes from the ghost and Mrs. Mira are the constellations that will forever illuminate its legacy. Thank you for embarking on this spectral voyage with us, for embracing the unseen and for honoring the magic that lingers between the realms. Your time and interest weave new threads into the fabric of this captivating tale, reminding us that the echoes of the past continue to resonate within us all. Reflect, share, and let the whispers of the ghostly breeze carry your thoughts across the ages. Until we meet again in the realms of nostalgia and storytelling,